Okay, let's continue <coughs> our discussion. As we pointed out earlier, we are transmitting information to a discrete memoryless channel. Input is x and output is y. This is a vector, this is also a vector. Now, we have given the source x with that certain symbols. We can always calculate the entropy of the source as h of x. Given y, h of we can separately calculate h of y. Okay. Now the question is, this was the entropy that was present before transmission and what is the entropy that was present after reception? This should be x given y. That means, this was the entropy of the x, which is source. Now what is the entropy of the source that is still left at the output of the channel? That means entropy of the x, even that y has been received. So we have trans we have x, we know the entropy. We have received y, then we would like to know what happens with entropy. So entropy of the source s, yes, given that y has been received. Okay. So the quantity i x comma y. This is defined as h of x minus h of x given y. Ok. So, this is called mutual information. Entropy of the source. This is the entropy of the source given that y has been received. So, the difference between this will, will be the one entropy that is resolved by the channel. Okay? And that is known as mutual information. So, this, this, this is what defined, is defined as a mutual information. So, what does this mutual information tell us? Actually, <coughs> ultimately what we are interested in is the maximum transmission rate through a particular channel for error free reception. Okay? So, for which we make use of the knowledge of the uh, uh, entropy and then try to arrive at the result. So, mutual information is h of x minus h of x, x given y. And the maximum of mutual information is maximum of this is called the capacity of the channel. Okay? So maximum of mutual information over all xj, over all xj, it is uh, uh, all xj is called the capacity of the channel. Channel capacity. is the maximum of A of X. Okay. So this is called the channel capacity. So if you happen to know what is H of X and you happen to know H X given Y, then we can always find out the maximum of the uh, I X Y and that will be the channel capacity. So what will the channel capacity tell us? That will tell us the maximum rate at which we can transmit uh, through this channel for error free reception. Okay? So, we can write this uh, maximum, you can write h of x and h uh, x given y in, uh, uh, in, in uh, using the probabilities of occurrences of the channel uh, of the symbols. <coughs> Okay. Now, the channel capacity C is maximum of this. Let us see the theorem which is, called, is according to the channel coding theorem.
general public theorem. The H of S is always less than C by EC. Okay. H of S is the entropy of this source and this is the duration of the source uh, so symbol always you will transmit the uh, duration always you will transmit the symbol so this this is the bits per symbol this is the time that you use for transmitting the symbol this will always be less than or equal to C, C is, is known as the capacity, capacity of the channel and TC is the transmission usage of the channel. So, if you